Hello Taurus, welcome to Window to the Soul. This is both sides of the story. If you're brand new and you've never seen both sides of the story before, this is a spread that I have conceived of um, to look at you and a significant other. You have already set the intention of who you would like that significant other to be. There is no guesswork here. It's very unusual that somebody who you have not that you're not that's not on your mind will show up um so you know don't be thinking oh, halfway through oh maybe this is so and so instead chances are you have already set the intention um of who it's going to be so make that decision now if you haven't already this is you right now a leg up somebody need a helping hand do you need a helping hand just try and make sure these are on camera i get a lot of cards out for this reading so from a lot of decks it's quite nurturing it's quite motherly um and you did get that that rest and recuperation feeling for the september reading could be that somebody's helping you out or you're helping somebody out what's your person what's going on with your person there's no place like home beautiful card beautiful does this person feel like they want to come home do you feel like home to them is this a return the return of the rebellious wanderer come back into your life in some way recently somebody maybe wants to move in with you if we want to take this card incredibly literally um do feel free to flip these could be that this is you uh, this is your person and this is in fact you that's entirely up to you to discern if you're cross watching for a Taurus hello you're most welcome here cross watchers who wouldn't want to be checking up on what a Taurus is doing chances are this is you and this is your Taurus not necessarily but I'm just going with what usually comes up how it usually works again general readings you figure out how it resonates for you personally okay past energy of this connection the death card so this is probably an ex coming back because it ended at some point in the past present slowly slowly possibly coming back to you look at all these horses all of this movement future oh uh oh okay mm would like to say better to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all the five of cups is one of the sad cups cards maybe we'll just be reflecting on how things didn't work in the past maybe someone will be apologizing it's often a card of apologies it's a card of disappointment um self-pity yeah maybe you just want to apologize or they want to apologize maybe that's what's coming in but it's very slow very slow i do see movement but it's absolutely not fast let's get some cards here for this connection how you feel about them is the empress beautiful okay how they feel about you is the ten of pentacles wow another card that represents symbolically the home on top of a card called there's no place like home i think this person has either returned to you in some way recently or absolutely would like to build a home with you in some way there's there's absolutely the energy of committing to you and committing to this connection here whereas you here you're kind of just sort of doing that Eckhart Tolle living in the power of now kind of thing I'll get into it let's have a look energy that they uh, that you are sending them right now is the three of cups lovely okay so it's, it's fun it's a bit playful a little bit flirty not necessarily taking things too serious this feels quite committed and heavy and serious whereas this feels a lot lighter and fresher from your side here taurus energy you're they're sending you is the eight of pentacles wow yeah again very serious very 
dedicated, very committed to making this happen, making this work. What do you wish you could say? Wow, the Four of Wands. Okay, somebody's wondering if they should go for it here, Taurus, aren't you? What they wish they could say is the Four of Cups. Isn't that funny that we've got two fours come out like this again? Um, that also happened in your central energy for the September read, two fours. Although those were the Four of Swords and the Four of Cups. Here's the Four of Wands and the Four of Cups. Um, if you haven't checked out your September read yet, Taurus, I absolutely recommend that you do because I'm very much seeing these cards playing in to that reading. I believe this person here popped up in the September reading to say hi ever so briefly. The, their energy was definitely here. Okay, so right now, how you feel about them is the Empress. Like, I just feel that you want to have a bit of fun. I think it's kind of light and fresh. It's not too heavy. Um, it's kind of flirty and fun and free. It's it's like a period of growth. You, you're thinking, you know, well, okay, let, let's give this a go. Let's see how this pans out. Let's sow some seeds. Let's Let's nurture this. Let's enjoy each other's company. Let's it's fresh it's fun it's very emotionally stable and that energy is making you taurus incredibly attractive because it's just it's just very easy and relaxed and kind of going with the flow the empress in traditional rider white smith often has that beautiful flowing waterfall behind her like that going with the flow kind of energy this is somebody who you split with in the past could be that you kind of remained friendly or if there was a period where you didn't see each other for weeks months and possibly even years this does feel like a long term connection like a childhood sweetheart or somebody you knew from years ago coming back around there you know they're coming in quite slowly and tentatively here possibly with a view to at some point getting around to that apology but you're kind of okay so this person wants to, it's, it's like there's a curiosity here, but it's very um, nurturing, it's very emotionally stable. The, the leg up is also a very motherly, nurturing kind of energy. Could be that there's somebody here that needs to be taken care of in some way. Perhaps you've taken that on as your role, or perhaps they're looking after you in some way. Um, let's get a clarifier for the Empress here. The lovers wow the empress and the lovers beautiful are we falling in love taurus are we falling for this person i think we are i think we i think we're me <laughs> maybe you're not quite ready to open your heart to your true feelings yet but I, I i think this is i think you're a little bit more excited about this person than you're prepared to admit at this stage i think you're keeping it pretty cool and casual and fun and flirty but i think it's like looking at this person thinking yeah that's that, that's got potential yeah there's the, i can definitely see potential here your person kind of feels the same way, only much deeper. Um, they're ready to settle down with you. Um, the Ten of Pentacles, Mercury and Virgo, this is how they feel about you. They want to share their life with you, essentially. Um, they want to, there's a very protective energy here again, wanting to protect you, wanting to protect the environment that you create together. This is very much the energy of a home. Um, I, they could very well want to actually physically live with you, be with you in some way. Or as I said, this could be like some kind of homecoming, as in they feel they've gone off and wandered and done their thing. Perhaps you've done that too, but there's this coming back around and it's like, okay, now I'm ready to call you my home. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here, please? Here's the apology again. This is the Page of Cups. Now it's come up twice. Of course, the Page of Cups and the Five of Cups can both be many things, but what they both have to thematically together is an apology. This could be, 
I'm not even sure what the apology is for because I'm not really seeing you necessarily even feeling that you need one, honestly. Not even all that much bothered about an apology. But this person does feel that they need to apologise for kind of leaving home for a while. For going off into the big wide world and doing their thing and they've returned and it's almost like saying, sorry I left. Sorry I left. Yeah, that's that's coming across very strongly. It's methodical, it's slow, but this person absolutely has a plan of action going on here as far as you. The energy that you're sending them right now is the Three of Cups here, which again, it's fun, it's celebratory, it's um, having good times, good conversations, going out for a meal together, having a good bottle of wine together. It's, it's fun, it's like dating, it's flirting, but it's very much with a focus on the friendship aspect that you've got going on here. It's not so much romantic. I mean, obviously the lovers is here. This is very probably a romantic connection but also there's a real good friendship here as well and that's part of this connection that you value a great deal is the fact that you can just have fun together um, this person's a good listener you don't tend to argue over very much you seem to have a lot in common there is this energy of sentimentality here perhaps there are mutual things memories that you have that you go oh remember that time and then you can have a laugh together that kind of energy coming through why is this here the knave of swords the page of swords this is the little internet spy have you been keeping an eye on this person for a while have is this somebody who you've kind of had on been connected with through social media for a while but they they haven't reached out until very recently or vice versa um, it's kind of someone you followed over the years or the months or weeks or however long it's been since you were separated. This feels like this is somebody that you've kind of been following for a while or they have you, but this is the energy you're sending them. So it could be that, like I said, you've, you've kind of kept your eye on this, but not necessarily with romantic intentions in mind. But if this is someone from your past, you never really quite fully let their energy go even if you weren't necessarily thinking about them in a romantic sense until recently yeah there's memories here absolutely memories the energy they're sending you is the eight of pentacles again that's serious i want to work i want to put some effort in i want to improve what it is that we have together and kind of taking a lot of pride in the potential of being with you why is the eight of pentacles here please the ace of pentacles wow this person absolutely wants something real stable committed with you that this person has a plan they, they absolutely have a plan of action a plan of attack how to get taurus in my life step one play it cool you know step two make it clear that i'm reliable and supportive step three Put in the work, write checks that you can cash, follow through, actions not words. It's it's like I, they, they have thought this through so methodically um, because I think they know that you need this level of security here. It's, it's kind of cute. It's kind of cute that somebody is so prepared to put this degree of effort into a connection here. What you wish you could say is, let's go for it. Just go for it. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Why not? Let's go for it. Let's move in together. Let's... Okay, so there's the resistance. Okay, so you're, I, I, I do believe this is what... You, and the position is, what do you wish you could say? I don't think you're saying it. I don't... I think you wish you could take a chance on this and go for it and be a little bit bolder here why why is where's the resistance the four of wands why is it here ten of pentacles wow <laughs> yeah yeah what you wish you could say is okay all of this yep let's do it why not let's go for it wow um taurus you might have a new roommate coming in very soon these home 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 home
both of you. It's all over. Wow, uh, I'm trying to think of another way to look at this. You know, home is where the heart is. It could just be an acceptance. There's absolutely committing, commitment here all over the place and um, committing to um, building an environment together is here. Um, it could be building an environment where you can both be comfortable enough to express love and open your hearts. Absolutely. What they wish they could say to you is interesting. The Four of Cups is taking things for granted and being wrapped up in yourself and dwelling on past hurts. Dwelling on past hurts plays into this and this apology with the Knave of Cups here. This person feels they owe you an apology. I just don't see it here. I don't think you even care. You're not holding a grudge here. Taurus <laughs> and if Taurus has reason to hold a grudge I know Taurians trust me they'll hold a grudge but you're not you don't feel I think this person's kind of there's a little bit of a guilty conscience going on here that doesn't necessarily mean that they're hiding anything just that they feel a bit bad about possibly how things ended um I said in the September read the death card is a painful ending um and all of the this apology energy is on this side it's not there's no sign of it here at all why is the four of cups here please the five of swords dwelling on something that was said something cruel and cutting that was said There is some water under the bridge here for this person, something they feel they need to clear up here in this connection before they can move forward. It's absolutely here, here, here and here. That's something I will explore in more detail in the extended. Um, overall, this is this is very positive. It's it's the beginning stages or what it or, or it's like taking the next step within a connection um and the next step within a connection as far as commitment goes can be many things it can be as small as let's make this official let's update our facebook status or let's uh, be exclusive or then we start moving into the realms of let's move in together let's get engaged let's have a baby let's get married and all of those kind of things um but there i do believe there is a step being taken here and i believe this person is very much wanting it suggesting it and you are very much wishing you could do it wishing you could agree whether or not you do is another matter altogether um, in the extended reading over on patreon i will look at action towards each other to see if we can get a little bit more on that i will have a look at the outcome i'll get an idea of timing with the lenormand cards and i will look and i will explore this kind of this apology this dwelling on something from the past the energy that's going on here and we'll run through all of the signs as well so if you want to pop on over there you're more than welcome to do that if not all good Taurus good luck with this and I'll see you for the mid-month check-in in a week or two take care